Hello my wonderful Libra people and welcome to your reading for June 2022. So very exciting. So let's see what's happening for you for June. So I've got here conclusions are within reach for you guys. So how beautiful is that to see? So if you've been wondering about a certain situation, know that conclusions are within reach for you. So we can see the trees here and it's almost like you're nearly there, you're nearly there and it's like you're just walking your way through and then you're going to get the answers that you're really after, uh, Libra people. So that's beautiful to see there for you guys. I've also got chop wood. So this is about just getting things done, the everyday things that are Fairly uninteresting, I want to say. So um, this is about just cleaning the house and going through everything and just doing the daily chores and just making sure you're able to do those things. So if, I, I think because it's interesting, Libra people, you guys tend to love to be in balance of everything and you hate when things are out of control and that you have to, you're getting overwhelmed because you're, you typically you do like a really really nice clean and sort of tidy place you like nice things and you like everything to be in the you know specific area as well so when chop wood comes up and really it's interesting here in relation to your sign so are you are you fretting about the house are you fretting about you know trying to keep up with everything all your chores and everything you know nice and clean and spotless all the time so it looks all pretty and things because that's a very much a card coming up thinking about you know are you really overextending yourself trying to to get things done all the time or are these things needing to get done and you're feeling overwhelmed and you're not asking for help to get all the stuff done that you want to get done so it's interesting when that one that card comes up because it can mean a lot of different things about you know trying to be you know mr or miss perfect or however you want to say it being perfect all the time so that's that's interesting to see there for your sign because you do you like nice things you like to things to look beautiful all the time but you know sometimes it's not always possible we've got to ask for help too okay so here we've got the four of pentacles in the reversed position so this is telling me here that it almost it could mean a couple of things you're either resistant to move forward like really really resistant to move forward on something or you're waiting for something to happen so that is really like with conclusions are within reach it feels like you you're right at that you've had enough you're waiting for some answers on something and it's almost like something is blocking this this flow somehow so it's either the energy that you're in at the moment there's someone blocking it or it could be that you're you're being resistant as well so it can mean a lot of different things here so the it's interesting because the four of pentacles is all about holding on to things and it's not letting things flow so it can be holding on to finances or holding on to your money it could be holding on to work that's no good for you as well or you're holding on from moving forward on something it could be in the house it could be you know something related to the home your work um, as well so there's some definitely some resistance I'm feeling here because you know your sign is quite it's interesting you, you you guys are pretty adaptable you know when it comes to surprises and things but I feel like there's some kind of resistance here so especially when the king of cups comes in as well the king of cups is very much a a person that's very successful in a very loving way and they're very very compassionate and I'm not surprised that I'm seeing this card here for you guys because you guys are you're very charming you're typically quite good looking sign you know you're lucky sign for that and you are you do you have a lot of love for a lot of people you love to see compassion and balance between all that's involved so whatever's happening here whatever's resisting this energy flow and, and i kind of feel it could be related to family affairs and stuff as well and it's almost like you're trying to protect something that's close to your heart 
So this will be interesting to see what's happening here with you guys and what's blocking the flow of energy for you. So that's interesting. So we've got two knights here, knight of cups in the source here with, this is interesting, one's reversed and one's not. So that's very interesting to see here. So I kind of feel like Libra people, you're almost trying to balance this energy a lot. So it could be a partner that you have or you're looking at someone and there's that you're interested in or it's yourselves. You're trying to balance something within yourselves with that night energy there. So it could be that because this, this card's all about um, throwing yourselves into you know, um, romantic situations, loving situations. It's going in with your whole heart. And sometimes the night's energy either helps or hurts the situation. So you've got to ask yourselves here, are you throwing yourselves into something with your whole heart and then you've been hurt and you're trying to protect yourself with this energy coming through here? Or is it that you need to make a move on something. So I feel like there's some dual energy happening here. So whoever's watching this video today, you're going to be either one or the other. You know, you might need to pull back the reins a little bit with um, how much energy and love and compassion you're putting into a situation, or you need to start moving forward a little bit. So that's interesting to see here with two two knight of cups in this situation here so everyone's going to feel a diff something different from that perspective here because it's interesting here some of you i feel like have been a little bit hurt i want to say like it's almost like you want things everything to be in balance and perfect you want everyone to be happy but it's kind of like there's something blocking blocking this flow blocking it so it's either the blocker is either someone needs to move forward or someone needs to pull back. So that's it's either letting the energy flow or someone needing to push a little bit here. Especially with top wood, like top wood's about you know very much trying to keep everything perfect all the time. So you're trying to make everything nice and clean and um, you know living in, living a pristine life and. You know, Libra, like you guys, you try to, you, you love to try and keep everyone happy. You try to keep the balls in the air. You try to keep the scales balanced. So this is something to ask yourselves here. Are you putting too much energy in, if it took, like, especially if it comes to your friends, your family, your kids, everyone around you that are you putting too much effort in to try and keep all the balls up in the air or are you not doing enough? Do you need to push a little bit? Do you need to speak your truth? Do you need to tell people I need help? You know, is that the energy you need to bring into your situation here? So, you know, to, with the scales, you know, you love to balance the scales all the time and keep everyone happy, but you do tend to be people pleasers as well. So that is very much your star sign here. Okay. All right, so here i've got i've got two of these here the four of swords from two different decks so whoever is pushing themselves a lot this is a good message for you guys because i think some of you need to have a little look at your health so this is about taking a break taking rest some of you might be really needing to do that here so if you haven't been asking for help um, for yourselves and you've been trying so hard to really keep everything going it might be time to take a really like a good break a holiday or something like that some of you i feel like aren't getting enough sleep um as well like you are being woken up you're not sleeping well as well so also here with this this energy here it, it is also a call to go and visit the doctor um, as well and get a good hit, little bit of a health check like whether it's blood tests or something like that um, but you know, I'm not here to tell you medical advice, but this energy here is, is generally good, you know, good little reminder just to go and book in a, an appointment with the doctor and to seeing how things going for you. So even if it's changing up the diet a little bit or, you know, eating better food, getting more sleep, you know, we all could use a bit more sleep, couldn't we? So, <laughs> all right. So that's, that's the, you know, energy I'm picking up with that one there. Okay, so looking forward, not in, not surprised to see this here. So four of pentacles and the fool in the reverse position here. So I feel like you guys have been 
some of you have been really working towards something here. Like you want to go somewhere, you want to go on a journey, you want to go take a holiday, or you want to, you're itching, I feel like, some of you to get out. But here, with the Four of Cups energy here, I feel like some of you are, being a, are feeling a little bit lackluster and demotivated at the moment. So some of you are feeling just a bit stuck about everything, especially with the Four of Pentacles that comes in here too. A bit of stuck energy hanging around you guys at the moment. So it's almost like you need to, um, some of you need to get reinvigorated and motivated and like feel like the energy is going to pick up again for you guys. Because some of you are thinking overwhelmed by all your responsibilities, overwhelmed by everything. And especially with the two knights here coming in. So some of you are either needing to really pick yourselves up and move move forward and others it's really interesting with the knight of cups energy of is feeling like just you need to ask for help so it's the rules yeah low energy with some of this it's like some of you need to speak up i want to say and because some of you are, have no problem in communicating how you're feeling and others aren't you're not asking for that help there you're feeling like you know, it's almost like everyone's against you a little bit. And it's like you're feeling like everyone's being negative towards you. So that's that's interesting energies there. So, yeah. So, you know, some of you do. You need to pick yeah, pick that motivation up, I want to say. So, so, especially like if you're feeling like you're just... People are taking so much from you. Because, you know, a lot of you, you do. You feel so much about people and your empaths as well. A lot of the time as well because you care so much and it's like I think some of you just feeling so zapped so so zapped so it's really good to see you know the knight of cups two energies coming in here where others some of you just give 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 and others you others are just you're just not asking for help really not there so especially too like there could be um, a couple of people in your situation a couple of um, romantic prospects there where I think some of you need to say how you feel towards this person and other ones you need to pull back a little bit because I feel like some of you are giving, you're just giving too much. So that's a big, big thing there. Alrighty, so now very interesting here. Yes, in your current energies. So it's we've got with the three of pentacles in the reverse and we've got the king of pentacles here too so this is really speaking about the home here and i really do feel like there's someone in your situation here is quite stable quite secure probably someone you can talk to here because there's definitely imbalance around the home area like people working together the family that you know you close your close friends i feel like there's some people they're just not working together when it comes to matters of the home especially with in regards to yeah like keeping everything sorted with chop wood chores jobs responsibilities here but there's someone here that you can definitely call on for help and i don't don't know if you guys reach out to ask them for help. So that's that's a big one there for you. Oh my gosh, we've got the Four of Pentacles again in another deck too. <gasps> yeah, so this is you you guys feeling a little bit like this for, for June. It's like some of you just so demotivated. And you're not seeing your opportunities here with the upright cups. So this is about opening up your eyes here. We've got the hermit as well. So the hermit here in the reverse position is the soul searcher here. So I think some of you need to retreat and think about yourselves in the situation. Think about you. What do you really, really want? Are you thinking about everybody else and trying to, you know, people please all the time here? Because we've got a lot of night energy here. So people pleasing and trying to give so much and not ask for help in return. And it's it's about really pulling back and thinking about yourselves for this month, Libra. Because when we've got two Four of Swords, it's telling me there's a really need to look on in your health. Look at your health. Go and really um, do something for you. Have more sleep. Have more rest. Take a break. Take a holiday. I think some of you really, really need to do that for the month of June. I'm really seeing that as an important thing. We've got Page of Swords too in your in yourself, and it's like you really do. You want to, you want to get out there. You want to speak your truth, and you you want to take back your independent independency and your control as well. I see that with Page of Swords here. 
the devil energy came in here in the reverse position. I think there's that, it's resistance to, um, to really move forward because you're feeling trapped. And I feel like some of you do, you feel really, really trapped in your situations. So that's going to be important for you guys for the month of June is to take back your power. I think some of you are giving it away too much. So that's um, interesting energies I'm picking up there. So I just want to pick up a guidance card for you guys and just see what else is coming through for, um, for you guys. Because I really do see with the Six of Wands, success is on its way to you. But this is about you taking back your power in order for this to be in the upright position so you can really feel successful. So big, big thing there. Speak your truth, Libra. You don't always do that. Okay. What have we have? Oh, star. The silver energy of a star brings good luck and serendipity. So you've got the luck on your side this month. So start, use the energy of the star to really take back your power for this month. Okay, Libra people, very, very important for you guys. So you've got the guiding star. So call on that, your ancestors, your spirit team, anyone to help you and speak your truth. Big one there. So thank you, Libra people, for listening to this reading today. I wish you all the best for the month of June, and I hope that you take your power back. Thank you so much.